60-year-old Goma is sitting in a classroom for the first time in her life. These women are beyond school age, but that isn't stopping them from learning how to read and write. Sharifa grew up in a home where her parents didn't believe girls should have an education. But her husband doesn't feel the same, which is why she is now able to attend this class. Because of our age, we cannot go to regular schools. That's why we're here. We came here so that we can learn and get an education. Women are slowly becoming more vocal in a culture where they lack any real power. Education, they believe, would give them just that. I want to become a teacher so that I can teach other women. I'll encourage other girls to study and have an education because it will play a beneficial role in our lives. Thousands of women in this province have had to rely on themselves after losing their husbands during the wars. These are some of them. Maybe they aren't lucky enough to attend literacy classes, but at least they are learning crafts. Over 100 women are benefiting from this local project, making just enough money from selling their sewing and embroidery. It is a big challenge, improving the lives of the women of Kandahar. Just a few years ago, they weren't able to venture out of their homes without a male escort. Today, things have changed. They come to bazaars, and some are fighting back. This woman is one of them. Her predecessor was gunned down on her way to work last year. Rona Tarin knows she could be next. But it is not the Taliban she fears, but a culture which discriminates against women. The Taliban is not the threat. The biggest problem for women is Pashtun culture, which doesn't believe in the rights of women. A generation of women may have never had the chance to change their lives for the better. And for those who are now trying, it may be a long way before conservative traditions are locked away. Zena Khudr, Al Jazeera, Kandahar.